While driving Talon's community, my uh, fun projects are on hold because Abe and I couldn't finish mowing the lawn. My cobalt 40 volt mower stopped working today. I was in the middle of mowing the lawn and it just stopped. I had one fail moment where it just stopped working, then it restarted and now it won't restart. So I'm gonna try to figure out what's wrong. The grass here just grows too fast in South Carolina. You can see this is less than a week's worth of growth. I have to mow it twice a week, so I've got to get this lawnmower done quickly. I'm going to go through some uh, possible scenarios why it's not working. So the first check is going to be the simplest check. Do I have sufficient battery voltage? And I check these batteries. They're both good. One of, those, one of them is actually brand new. I topped them off on the charger. And, uh, and they're definitely fully charged. So the second thing I wanna check is make sure that both battery banks are operational. So I'm gonna put these batteries on both sides because I was only running one battery when it's failed. I'm gonna put one battery on each side, have dual batteries running and see if that helps with the, uh, the operation. So I've installed both batteries and I've started this the way it's supposed to by pressing the button and then pulling the safety trigger back and nothing happens. I don't get any spark whatsoever. It's definitely not a battery issue. Next thing I want to check is continuity with the start switch all the way down to the motor. And uh, hopefully that's where my problem is. Otherwise I'm going to have to get inside whatever the module is in there and see if that's the problem. As a safety precaution, I've removed both batteries so there's no voltage, 40 volts can still hurt you. And now I gotta use some star drivers to remove four screws to open up the switch function. I removed the cover. Everything looks in proper order here. And what that button does is it pushes this little arm up and engages it with this device here that is connected to this arm. And this is a switch that when pulled up Connect some contacts in here, and uh, and this thing will actually give uh, power down to the motor. It'll give some indication to the motor that they can turn. So that's your safety switch here. So as I took this switch out, uh, I didn't see any indication of a problem, but this wire dropped right off, this top right wire. So that might have been giving me a continuity issue. I'm going to put it back together and see if that fixed my problem. Hopefully that was a simple solution. I'm gonna tighten up the tabs on those uh, push-on connectors to make sure they, uh, they stay on securely. I've checked this switch, and you can see there's a little wiring diagram right there. And my assumption, incidentally, I'm waiting online for the Cobalt technical support, but based on this diagram, the, uh, the position it's in right now has continuity, which is these two, and I checked, and there is a circuit here. When you push the button and engage this mechanism here to, to activate the switch, it breaks continuity with these twos and creates continuity with these. And this provides voltage indication to the motors to run. When you let go, the blades stop immediately. And my assumption is that these two, when they, uh, when they have continuity once again by releasing the safety switch, this, this gives a signal to break the blade so that the, it prevents injury. The blades will stop immediately. So that's how I feel like this uh, switch operates. When I tested it, based on that assumption, it works perfectly. So my problem with this cobalt 40 volt mower is not the switch. So I've ruled out the batteries, the battery performance, the switch, the internal mechanism of the switch, the uh, electrical continuity, so uh, it's got to be somewhere inside the mower. So at this point, as I mentioned, I was on the phone with Cobalt Technical Support. I was on hold waiting for them to come online. Uh, when I went to the troubleshooting section, it said that if you don't get a run and you're sure that the battery's not the problem, then it's probably the switch and call a 1-800 number. And I'll link that later, um, and I'll also show it later on in the video, to call that number to order a new switch. Well, I tested the switch and it was perfectly fine. When Cobalt finally came back on the line, they got my serial number information, they got model number, date of manufacture, and it turns out that this mower has a recall and it's caused fires. I've had this mower for over five years, probably like six years. It's worked flawlessly all that time. It turns out that they did have problems with these uh, catching on fire 
and I'm going to put the link to the actual recall notification. Um, I never got a notification. It kind of bothers me, but the uh, there were no injuries associated with this, so maybe that's why I never got a notification. But they sent me a, uh, a claim form. I took it to a local uh, place that's going to get all the parts that they need to resolve the recall fire issue, and I'm going to get a uh, perfectly operational electric mower once again. Uh, so um, I did go through all my checks, figuring the thing was out of warranty. I decided to go ahead and do the, che the, uh, the checks myself, see if I could fix it myself. Uh, but it pays to go ahead and, and make a call to the manufacturer at times, or at least do some research on your model number to see if maybe yours has a, uh, a manufacturing issue and you can get this repaired for free. I'm getting mine repaired for free. Unfortunately, two weeks of growth without mowing, so I'll probably have to pay somebody or borrow a mower. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you like this video. Please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.